not guilty. It's the third time Donald Trump has entered the same plea in a court case against him. In this latest indictment, the former U.S. president has been charged with four felony counts. Conspiracy to defraud the U.S., conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy against the rights of citizens. The charges all relate to Trump's actions to undo the outcome of the 2020 presidential election. Federal prosecutors allege that Trump knew he lost the election and lied repeatedly about mass voter fraud, while pressuring officials to change the results so he could stay in office. This is the most serious of the cases against him, and he's facing the prospect of more legal woes to come. After his court appearance, Trump kept to his usual playbook, accusing his opponents of weaponizing justice because he's doing well in the polls. Uh, when you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Meanwhile, a handful of protesters and supporters of Trump gathered outside the Washington, D.C. courthouse. I'm here to make sure that the world knows that Donald Trump should have been locked up long time ago before he even made the White House. America got hoodwinked, America got bamboozled, and he's a rat. Echoing the former president, his supporters say this latest indictment is politically motivated. The good news is Trump's probably going to get another five points in the polls today. DeSantis will probably go down two or three points because that's what usually happens at every indictment. So this is another good day for us. Despite his numerous legal difficulties, Trump is still the leading contender to clinch the 2024 Republican nominee for president. But that could change. The latest Reuters Ipsos poll taken after the indictment found that about half of Republican voters said they would not vote for Trump if he were convicted of a felony.